Welcome to this case study on stress-induced cardiomyopathy. I am Dr. Emily Watson and this case is brought to you by ICU Reach. Let's get started. A 64-year-old male with a medical history of diabetes mellitus who was recently diagnosed with low-grade follicular lymphoma by biopsy of the celiac lymph node. He presented initially with weight loss and ataxia, and an MRI of the brain revealed multiple enhancing lesions in the cerebellum and brain stem, which were suspected to be CNS lymphoma, and a brain biopsy was planned. During anesthesia induction, the patient experienced severe hypotension, for which he received crystalloid fluid and phenylephrine boluses. Additionally, he required infusions of norepinephrine, phenylephrine, and epinephrine to maintain his blood pressure. Chest X-ray shows mild pulmonary edema and a STAT EKG revealed a normal sinus rhythm with J-point elevation but no significant ST elevation, and the troponin level was within normal range at 0.03 nanograms per milliliter. Echocardiography showed moderate to severely reduced left ventricular systolic function, with an estimated ejection fraction of 25 to 30 percent. Notice the systolic apical ballooning of the left ventricle with depressed mid and apical segments indicated with the red circle, as well as hyperkinesis of the basal segments as indicated with the yellow arrows. An urgent cardiac catheterization with coronary angiography and left ventriculography was performed, which revealed normal coronary arteries but reduced left ventricular function. Again, notice the ballooning of the left ventricle with the hyperactive base. This finding confirmed the diagnosis of stress cardiomyopathy. The patient was admitted to the intensive care unit where his hemodynamic profile improved over the next three days and patient was extubated successfully. Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is a non-ischemic cardiomyopathy that mimics acute myocardial infarction and is characterized by transient regional systolic dysfunction of the left ventricle. Coronary angiography usually shows no evidence of obstructive coronary artery disease or plaque rupture in Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Here is another patient with a bedside echocardiography on the right side of the screen clearly showing the ballooning of the heart. The regional wall motion abnormality typically extends beyond the territory perfused by a single epicardial coronary artery. The name Takotsubo comes from the Japanese term for octopus trap which describes the systolic apical ballooning appearance of the left ventricle on imaging. It is also called broken heart syndrome as the mechanism is thought to be related to elevated levels of circulating plasma catecholamines due to stress. Other theories include microvascular dysfunction, spasm of epicardial coronary vessels, and aborted myocardial infarction. Patients who survive the acute episode typically recover systolic LV function within one to four weeks. In-hospital mortality is approximately 3 to 4 percent. Please visit www.icureach.com for more cases and educational resources. You can also check us on Facebook and at ICU Reach YouTube channel. Thank you.